So I decided to kick it old school today and go back to just a really sort of traditional, YouTube traditional, informal, casual, let me do my makeup and chat to you guys on video. It's quite cloudy out today, so I'm sure the lighting is not great. I don't even know what you're seeing in frame. I just laid out all my makeup and I got one of these sort of big mirrors from Ikea recently. I remember seeing Viviana Does Makeup use one of these and I thought, oh, I really want one of those so I can do more get ready with me videos because I feel like I'm always struggling with like a compact and it's just like a hot mess. But I personally find something so soothing about watching YouTubers that I like apply makeup and talk. It's just like kind of one of my favorite things in the world, which I know might make me a little strange. So um, my hair is a hot mess as per usual. It's really, really humid out, but I just wanted this to be like a really sort of casual chatty video, even though I find that terminology really annoying. So why don't I just start like putting on my makeup and continuing to talk? <laughs> um, the only thing I have on my face right now is my skincare, which I thought I would show you. I did take a shower and wash my mop of frizzy hair this morning. So for skincare, I used the Essential Apothecary Alchemist Hydrate Skin and Hair Hydration as a toner. Eye serum is the Kahina Prickly Pear Seed Oil, which is a roller ball. So I use this under my eyes, uh, mostly in the morning. Then I have a new serum that I'm trying that I'm really, really into. I've been using it for like the last three or four days and it's the Audacity Acai and Rose Serum Concentrate. Uh, Audacity sent me, and I think a bunch of other bloggers, some products to launch that new Synergy mask that they're doing. Maybe I'll share my thoughts on that mask. They also sent me an exfoliator, uh, like a jojoba bead exfoliator, and suffice to say, this is my favorite thing that I've tried so far. I really like this. It will be September favorites for sure. I did like three drops of that and then I did three-ish drops of the Stark Cypress Purity and Defense Oil. I really like this as a lightweight morning oil. Oh, and then I brought this out too. This is what I put on my bod. This is the Max and Me Circle of Protection Body Oil. God, it's really dark. I'm too lazy to bust out my soft box lights right now. I've just kind of had like an overwhelming week, so we're, whatever. I love that the bottle has this jewel on the top that's like such a cute touch that I didn't notice right away but now I'm like kind of really into so yes I used this on my body so I am my energy and aura and chakras are protected and aligned for the day oh my god I'm already hot so do any of you who make videos also get hot when you're doing them I feel like I just start sweating <laughs> first I have decanted the rest of my Suntegrity 5-in-1 into this container, so I'm going to put this on first. I know that just moved the mirror into frame a little bit, but I feel like I should be a little bit more centered. So since I'm almost out of this integrity, I've been contemplating what I'm going to get next. I do have some Lily Lolo BB cream that I might mix with my untinted Suntegrity for a while just to use some of that up, but then I'm torn between wanting to purchase another Suntegrity or going for the Josh Rosebrook tinted day cream just because my skin is not tolerating really moisturizing products so well anymore. They're just starting to feel too heavy and greasy. Not the Suntegrity, especially as we move into fall and winter. This is like a little behind the scenes tip that you guys, that I never show you guys when I'm doing like actual like makeup tutorials. After I do my face sunscreen, I always take a tissue and I remove excess product from my eyebrows and my lips. I just find that it makes my eyebrow products then go on better and lip products too. This is also like a nice lip exfoliation. And then I always will throw a balm on after that. God, I'm hot. This is the Olobi Tinted Lip Butter. So I'm doing my makeup, actually just nothing special. I'm gonna film a video after this. I kind of wanna make that like maybe a little bit of a new routine is like, I usually film on Friday mornings because I work from home on Fridays. <laughs> I hope my boss doesn't watch my videos. Um, this is the Tarte CC under eye. I'm just gonna pass some of this under my eyes. 
you know, film like one of these, like doing my makeup and then my other video for the week. That way I would be guaranteed to have two videos every week. One would be sort of like a makeup chatty video and one would be kind of a, maybe a more substantive video. like. A And then I'm still plodding along with my like five-year-old RMS uncover up in 22. Hasn't gone bad. I heard someone tell me recently that their RMS product started um, smelling funky. And I mean, I've had this forever and it's fine. beauty blender of which I need a new one. Mine looks like a dog attacked it. Like, do your beauty blenders do this? I don't even know if it's like picking up, but I'm holding off until the fall Sephora sale where you got like 15% off. Oh, excitingly, I, uh, I think I hit VIB status today. If you can believe it, I was not a VIB until today. <laughs> Yeah, I just placed a small order. I needed a new makeup brush to replace my horrible MAC 187. <clears throat> it sheds so terribly. And then the 100 point perks were really good. I got an amuse bouche in the color gazpacho, which is kind of a cute name. And then they had a Too Faced Better Than Sex 100 point perk. I'm just gonna set my under eyes with the RMS uh, translucent setting powder and the Beauty Blender technique, which I actually really like, even though I feel like I've talked disparagingly about baking the face and stuff before. The snarky person that I am. Speaking of snark, I'm totally just like jumping all over the place. Can we talk about Bitch Sesh for a minute? That podcast discovered it this week. Holy, holy addicted. Like another September favorite. I will listen to it when I am commuting. So I take the train to work. And I look crazy, I'm sure. I'm literally walking down the street laughing like a crazy person. Also listening to that, I prefer Casey to Danielle. I just think she's so funny. I guess she used to be on SNL. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Bitch Sesh is a podcast that breaks down Real Housewives and kind of Bravo shows in general from these the banter between these two exceptionally funny women. And after listening to it, I'm kind of like... Man, I wish I were funny. Like, I wish I were. F I had the gift to be funny like Casey does. She's just really hilarious. I just put way too much powder on. This is the problem, like, talking and trying to do a video. Whatever. Uh, Antonym Baked Foundation in Light and my favorite brush of all time, the Wayne Goss Number no. 2, to kind of lightly set everywhere else. Normally I would let the powder sit under my eyes a little bit longer, but I put way too much on, so. All right, brows. Anastasia Brow Definer in Medium Brown and Glossier Boy Brow. I actually need to make another Glossier order and pick up another one of these. Honestly, I love it, but it hasn't lasted all that long. I already have a backup of the Brow Definer, but I don't know. Sometimes with a product I really like, I'll kind of get paranoid that I'm gonna run out of it before I do and then I have the back the backup sitting around for way too long. This mirror is kind of the best thing ever. I'm sort of obsessed with it. So yeah, bitch sesh. One of you guys recommended it to me. She's VQ Garcia on Instagram. And um, other people have recommended other podcasts of that same milieu and I ha I mean I tried Watch What Crappens, I didn't find it funny. I listened to a couple minutes and I was like, no, this isn't doing it for me. 30 seconds of bitch sesh and I was hooked. I realized that I really have a thing for that kind of humor, that sort of snark. It's, um, it's the same sort of humor that People's Couch on Bravo has. The, it's, I don't know, maybe it's just the people that I find funny, but it's, it's hard to find something that makes you legitimately laugh out loud and People's Couch and bitch, bitch sesh some of the only things like media that I've consumed that do that, I guess. What else should we talk about, guys? We're just here hanging out. I feel kind of blah today, to be honest. 
I am in need of a new winter coat. Should we talk about that? I have one of the Madewell parkas sitting in a cart. I might just go ahead and order it today. I'm also thinking about investing in the J. Crew cocoon wool coat. I don't know, me and clothing is sort of like an ongoing thing because, God, it's really dark in here. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm moving more and more towards a capsule and just sort of very minimal but high quality pieces in my wardrobe. And, you know, J. Crew is probably not the most ethical place to shop. Maybe Madewell isn't either. I don't know much about their production practices. I just got a small order in from Everlane this week. One of the things worked, one of the things I'm returning. But like I, I really enjoy shopping with them. I just really like the look of the J. Crew cocoon coat. And I have not purchased a winter coat since 2008. I've been using the same one, but it's time for a new winter coat. Would you also believe I don't own a raincoat? And I live in New England, which is just, I know. I'm realizing that maybe you can't see me really doing my makeup very well. Should I move this even more? But that's so annoying to have that like that. I don't know, work in progress. I'll count on you guys to give me constructive feedback. Oh, someone left me a comment on one of my videos this morning. I made a mental note to chat about it in this video. Let me decide what I'm doing next though first. Um, I'm gonna do my eyes next. Oh, okay, two things. I'm totally just like jumping all around. I'm gonna take um, some of this shadow just in the crease and then I'm gonna do some liquid liner. A, can someone point me in the direction of a good tutorial to depot these shadows from this palette? Because as you can see, the uh, lid came off and it's just a pain to use every day. So I would like to depot these and put them in my Z palette. So if you have a good tutorial for depotting pans from a palette like this, I would love you if you would share your resource with me. Okay, so the other thing, this is another favorite brush of mine, by the way. This is the Wayne Goss three, I think, and it's a blending brush. Everything I wanted the Bobbi Brown sheer crease brush to be, but Bobbi Brown is owned by one of the conglomerates, like L'Oreal, so I'm kind of all set. Yeah, I just think the quality of Wayne Goss brushes is better than Bobbi Brown. Anyway, um, someone left me a comment on one of my Q&As this morning. I mean, she kind of had a valid point. Her delivery was a little weird, but uh, she was basically like picked up on the fact that I said something disparaging about or no I think in that Q&A I, I had addressed disparaging <laughs> semi disparaging dismissive remarks I've made about living libations in the past and She was like, well, where do you draw the line? Because you're into like working with a medical intuitive and crystals and all this other stuff that could be considered new age and I was like that's a fair point because my my impression of Living Libations is that they're a weird brand of New Age that just doesn't resonate with me, so that's what I told her. I know it's probably an un unsatisfying answer to a lot of people, but my impressions to things and why I don't like them is just really kind of like an energetic impulse or a gut reaction or an intuitive feeling, and there's no way to kind of... I mean, I'll do my best to explain why I think the sort of mental rationale behind it, but with living libations, it just strikes me as not my thing. It doesn't resonate with me. And that's like the best way I can explain it. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten yet. It's like 10 o'clock. Um, all right, I'm gonna do my liquid liner. I get a fair amount of requests to show how I do this. Now that I have this nice big mirror, this should facilitate doing it on camera. Um, so I use the Zuzu liner, liquid liner in Raven, which takes a little getting used to. I guess I'm used to using it. Oh, I need Q-tips though. Often I will need that for cleanup. Q-tips. So what I do is I just take the kind of side of the wand and I'll sort of stamp it on the outer third. Stamp slash kind of draw. It doesn't have to be perfect here because it's gonna, we're gonna go over it. 
So that's like my first step, really basic and easy. Then this is where I draw the wing and I try and draw not so high up. I try and draw more out just because that's my preference for a cat eye. I already like effed it up a little bit, but I'll fix it. So I'll just draw it out and then I'll connect down or across really. That's kind of the basic shape. Then I will be really gross. I'm gonna take a Q-tip and sharpen up the bottom like so. And then I'll just go back over and darken it up a little. And that is basically it. So for the most part, I really only like taking my liquid liner three quarters of the way across my lid. Sometimes if I'm doing like a really more, much more dramatic evening eye, I'll take it all the way in and make the wing much more dramatic, but this is kind of my preferred everyday winged liner look. Okay, I'm gonna do like a micro curl of my lashes. It's very strange. I guess maybe I'm just going in and out of phases. I haven't really been liking my lashes looking very curled lately. In fact, most days I've been foregoing even doing this. Also because I think that plume serum has made them longer. This is the Trish McAvoy Intense Gel Eyeliner in Black. I just tight line a little bit on the upper lash line. Okay then, now we have a few new products to talk about. The first of which is this. The Red Apple Lipstick Lash Project Gluten-Free Lash Conditioning Mascara. They did send me this to try out. I recently did that um, giveaway on Instagram. Congrats to the person that won. I think that it's, I'll put it on as my first layer so you can see. I like it, it's quite a dry, odd mascara formula not in a bad way per se i would say there's just not a lot of product that comes on the wand so if you prefer volume to length and no clumps like not a lot of product on the wand i feel like you might really enjoy this i think the other just big perk to it is that it if you have sensitive lashes <laughs> Is that a thing? If your lashes react poorly to a lot of mascaras, the, this formula I think is very good for conditioning the lashes, keeping them in nice shape. So I do think it can be built up. It can also, like I like that. I personally have been going for a bit of a more natural lash myself. This is probably tied with the Lily Lolo mascara for me in terms of eco brand mascaras that I've tried. Um, just for a little more drama, I am gonna go over with a coat of the Too Faced Better Than Sex, because I love this mascara. I feel like these two together makes me look sort of false lashy in a way, like it's quite impressive. Like that's pretty good, right? I mean, it's, I don't know. I've really been liking the combo. I find that it wears well. It takes a little effort to remove at the end of the day, but not anything excessive. So yeah, those are my eyes done. Like my hair, like can you just not even with it? It's so frizzy. I don't know why I dislike it so much. I will say it's been, feeling much like fuller and shinier. That's related to the medical intuitive stuff though, I think, which is the video I'm filming after this. So little plug for my Wednesday video, it's going to be my six month medical intuitive follow-up. Okay, so 
cheeks. Um, I'm not going to do bronzer or anything today. I'm just going to do some cheek color, cream highlight, and then lips. I totally went and bought a Bite multi-stick, but I wasn't really intending to. It was because I waited too long, but I went into the Sephora at the Prudential Center in Boston with the hopes of securing a Bite buttercream pecan backup, and they were all gone. Because there was no more pecan, I was like, I need another sort of everyday lip color. So I settled on Bite Mascarpone. So it swatches like this. It's a very NARS Dolce Vita shade. Prior to going for Eco products, NARS Dolce Vita was my paragon of done neutral looking lip color. So I'm always on a quest to find a more cleanly formulated version of Dolce Vita. Bite Pecan is close, Bite Amuse Bouche in Verbena is quite close, and now Mascarpone is also quite close. I am going to put it on my lips, but I'm gonna, I've am gonna. i been wearing it on my cheeks and really kind of been into it. Um, I just dot it on like three dots like that. I do a preliminary blend with my fingers. And then I'll do a blend out more with the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I don't know how that looks on camera, but it looks quite natural. And I am someone that has a lot of red and pink in my skin, so it's a challenge for me to find cheek colors that don't accentuate or bring that out and make me look like I got slapped in the face. Which, when I look back at some of my videos, I'm like, why? Why did I wear that blush? Okay, now I'm gonna go back to an oldie but a goodie as far as cream highlight, and it's the Well People Bio Brightener. I love this combo of Mascarpone with the Bio Brightener over top. It's stunning. This is very similar to the makeup that I was wearing in my UMA oil, hair oil review, the September Beauty Heroes review. And I will, I got a request to show you that messy little side chignon that I did. Um, it's so easy, so I'll, maybe I'll show that the next time I sit down and do one of these videos. Actually, I don't know why I just highlighted the upper lip. I haven't even really been liking how that looks, to be honest. But I will still highlight sort of the bridge of my nose right there. Okay, and lastly, lips. So when Red Apple Lipstick was awesome and sent me the mascara to try, they also... Um, sent me their lip liners to try. I actually asked to try them. Ashley Teague, I believe is her name. She works with a lot of the bloggers that will promote Red Apple lipstick products and she was just so nice. She was like, do you want to try anything else? Um, and I was like, well, I've been dying to try the lip liners. And she was like, great, I'll, I'll send them to you to try. So thank you, Red Apple lipstick. It's just, I, I am never not aware of you know, that the kind of perks that come with making videos and blogging. It is really a luxury to get to try these products uh, from these great brands. The one I'm gonna use today, so two of them are um, like traditional lipstick pencils like this, and then one of them is more of kind of like a mechanical pencil, the formula of which I sort of prefer. So I'm gonna do this. This is in the color blush, and I have been on a quest to secure a product to replace my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat and Pillow Talk when that runs out. This is sort of a contender, I think. I like the formula a lot. The color is a little dark, though. But it will suit Mascarpone really well, I think. In short, because I'm sure people will ask, I do 
like the multi-stick. I'm happy that I bought it. I like the versatility on the cheeks and on the lips. I would probably not wear this on my eyes, but I find it to be quite long wearing. I like the sort of powdery feel. Do I wish they still had the butter creams? Yes, because pecan is just a life-changing lipstick. So I'm still slightly heartbroken about that. I am not gonna lie. Also, this color is it quite, oh, I don't have the rest of my lip products here. This reminds me of a Bite Matte lip pencil I have in the color Tort. It's a little bit more mauve rose than a true neutral like pecan is on me, but I do like it. I think that it's sort of a nice done looking lip. If I want to lighten it up, I've been going over top with Red Apple Lipstick Oh My Guava. They did also send me this in that packet. Uh, this is a little too light for me to wear on its own, which I'm a little disappointed about, but I like it as sort of a center of the lip brightener. So this is my makeup done, and I'm so glad we got to hang out. I would love your feedback on the style of video, what you liked, what you didn't like, how the quality was. Yeah, if you wanna see more kind of informal let me do my makeup videos. I love these, but I don't know how I am at doing them. So I will rely on your feedback. I really need to go get something to eat. So I'm going to have some breakfast, clean up uh, the bomb explosion of products that are in front of me right now. And then I'm going to film my six month medical intuitive follow up video. So if you want to see that, it will be up on Wednesday, I think, barring anything unforeseen. But I hope you guys have had a great weekend. Thanks for hanging out and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.